John Beltran back at Mountain View High School in Loveland. The Fort Morgan boys played an excellent game, but they lost to Mountain View, 64-57. Time for the girls' game, and this will definitely be a mismatch considering the first time around Mountain View won by 46 points in Fort Morgan, 6-4 and four in league play for Mountain View. 9-5 and five overall. The Mustangs are 1-9 and nine in conference play and 1-14 and 14 on the season. Let's get to the starting lineup for the Mustangs. It's brought to you by B&B Appliance with over 30 years of experience. They can help match the appliances to your needs. Stop by at 502 Ensign in Fort Morgan. The Mustangs in their roadblocks for head coach Brett Anderson. They will go with Shaylin Ramirez, Kiera Aleman, Ava Taylor, who's a freshman, along with Bella Phillips, and also in the starting lineup for the Mustangs is Kiara Jimenez. Mountain View, which is led by Addison Branscombe, and she got hurt in the first meeting. Bree Matchett, very good ball handler for them. Addison Bransom, who not only is the leading scorer, but a senior. She's got a lot of length. Caroline Solis, that's your third senior in the starting lineup. Megan Kyle and Madison Kyle. The opening tip tonight in game number two of this doubleheader is brought to you by Buildings by Design. First impressions are important. Buildings by Design will make your vision a reality. Visit buildingsbydesign.com. Watch for Coach Anderson to use lots of timeouts here. He wants to stop big runs, and we know what Mountain View is capable of looking for their 10th win, while the Mustangs have that one victory at home against Skyline on January 20th. Ava Taylor jump center for the Mustangs. Addison Bransom for Mountain View. Waiting for Megan Kyle who got a tuck in your jersey. Jerseys cannot hang out. And the tip is controlled by the Mustangs. Nice job of Ava Taylor tipping that ball to Shaylin Ramirez. On the high right with a basketball. Guarded by Matchett. Had the ball stripped. Got it right back. Maintains the dribble. Picks it up. Ramirez hands it off to Kiara Jimenez. Had the ball stripped at midcourt. Now off her foot out of bounds. It's going to be tough. This defense is very good for Mountain View. And watch out on the offensive end. Caroline Solis is the point guard for Mountain View. On the outside left to Kyle, La for Bransom. Back to Solis, right wing three in the air, is back rimmed, and the rebound to Shaylin Ramirez of Fort Morgan. Ramirez across the timeline on the high right to Jimenez. What is she doing? Her left foot was clearly on the baseline. You gotta know where you're on the court. And that was even close. She had a good part of her foot on the baseline, I mean, come on. Solis with a basketball, jump pass. On the high left, that's Megan Kyle down low for Madison. Dribbles, puts it up. Foul that she missed. Looked like Ava Taylor got her across the right wrist. And Madison Kyle to shoot two. First foul of the game committed by either side, 45 seconds in. The free throw is off the back of the rim and no good. Free throw number two for Madison Kyle. Bends, spins, shoots, and connects. Backcourt pressure, Ramirez to Jimenez, back to Ramirez. Over to Taylor in front of the Fort Morgan bench. Jump pass to Ramirez. Baseball pass to Jimenez right through her hands out of bounds. 
That wasn't a bad pass. I think Jimenez got to run the floor a little bit more to make that more catchable. Caroline Solis the other way for Mountain View. Feeds Madison Kyle. Check that. That's Megan. Now the three is up and she missed it. All. Oh, that's good. I guess I had a weird angle there. Megan Kyle nails a three. It's four to nothing. Taylor pressured in the backcourt. Overhead pass to Jimenez. Check that. That's Aleman. Now to Phillips. Into the front court. Here is Shaylin Ramirez all the way. Banks and misses. Too strong. Solis grabs the rebound for Mountain View. Four to nothing Mountain View. Six and a half to go in the opening quarter. Jump pass in the left wing for Matchett. Straight away. The Kyle three is up. And that one is definitely short. Rebound to Matchett. Throws it right into the hands of Bella Phillips. First turnover for Mountain View. Kiera Aleman. Front court pass to Ramirez. Picks up the dribble. Baseball pass to Aleman. With the left-handed dribble, working off a screen. Swings it back out to Ramirez. Into the lane, pulls up. Banks and misses. Back rim. Rebound to Addison Bransom. Of Mountain View. Takes it across the timeline. Towards the right baseline. Bumped. Shoots. Scores. On the right baseline for Bransom. Little five-footer at six to nothing. Backcourt pressure being applied. Taylor. Over to Ramirez, baseball pass, front court by Alaban. Lob down low for Phillips. She banks and misses, but a foul. Good ball movement by the Mustangs. Bree Matchett commits her first. Bella Phillips to the line. Mountain View with an early 6-0 lead. And two free throws for Bella Phillips. First one is up, and that's in. Nothing but net. And the Mountain View boys won tonight, 64-57. Second free throw is in the air, and that's off the back of the rim. Rebound to Taylor. She banks and misses. Too strong. Bransom grabs the rebound for Mountain View. Quickly, all the way, Solis' runners up and in. Caroline Solis, middle of the lane, scored from a few feet away. 8-1, to one. backcourt pass to Taylor, nearly fouled, now to Ramirez. Frontcourt pass taken by Phillips. Phillips to Ramirez in the high left. Ramirez all the way, looked like she was bumped, no whistle, she missed it. And then a foul in the backcourt. Her ball just knocked out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by Aleman. Substitutions already for Mountain View. Alex Ellis and Nicole Olsen check in. They lead 8-1 to one with 5.09 to go in the opening quarter. Bransom outside left for Olsen behind the three-point line. Here's Matchett. Lobs it inside to Bransom. On the outside left, the Kyle three is up. And back rim, no. Long rebound to Matchett. Matchett, free throw line. Bransom turns off the back of the rim. No good. And she went over the back. That's definitely over the back by Addison Bransom. That'll be the second team foul, the first personal on Bransom. Mustang basketball down by seven. 4.54 remaining first quarter. Backcourt pass to Phillips. Now to Aleman, now to Jimenez. Lob towards the front court. Terrible pass. Intercepted. Here's the left corner three match it. Good. Yeah, it doesn't look like Jimenez is in this game. She's made a few mistakes. And Bella Phillips just threw a terrible pass in the backcourt. That is picked off by Nicole Olsen. Cross court, Kyle three. Good. Megan Kyle with a three. I thought Brett Anderson might call a timeout there. And the score is now 14 to one. In the backcourt, Shaylin Ramirez over to Jimenez. Cross court pass is intercepted by Olsen. She banks, misses, Bransom dribbles, puts it up, and she misses. Kyle goes up and she's fouled. And Fort Morgan's getting killed on the boards as well. Down 14 to one. And two free throws coming up here for Megan Kyle's got two three pointers in the opening quarter. And that free throw is around and no good. Spun out. Bransom is out of the game. And Evelyn Swank is in for Mountain View. Second free throws up, and that's good. Kyle was seven in the first quarter. The Mustangs have committed 
Six turnovers and make it a seventh. Right into the hands of Matchett. Here's Kyle. Right corner. Olsen three. That's an air ball. Ava Taylor had it momentarily. Right through her hands into Matchett's hands. Here's Kyle. Down low for Swank. Right wing to Olsen. Left wing. Kyle three. And that's a round and no good. Ava Taylor grabs the rebound for Fort Morgan. Her second. On the outlet to Ramirez. Georgia Pennington about to check in for Mountain View. They're clearing the bench early. Ramirez chest pass on the outside right for Charlotte Marquez into the game. Lobs it left wing. Three is up and that's banked in by Lauren Swedzig. She banks it in. It's 15 to 4 right off the glass. 325 to go in the first. On the outside left is Ellis and the right wing to match it. Straight away to Ellis. She'll take a three and that's an air ball right off the bottom of the net. Well, Mountain View is settling for a lot of threes, and here's Pennington into the game. There's up by 11. Mustang basketball. And here is Shaylin Ramirez, pretty good ball handler. Chest pass right side to Marquez, working off a screen. Left-handed dribble, and then she traveled. That's seven turnovers for the Mustangs. And here is Alex Ellis into Bree Matchett. Looking to build on an 11-point lead with under three minutes to go in the opening quarter. Ellis on the high left against Ramirez. High right now to Pennington. Left-handed dribble straight away for Olsen. Olsen right side. Here is Matchett. Jump pass. Here's Swank straight away on the right wing to Pennington. Working it around. Alex Ellis inside to Olsen. Backs in on the defender. Back out to Ellis. Fakes a three. And a three-second violation on Mountain View. They had a lot of nice passing, just couldn't get off a shot. Solis is back into the game. And Tegan Bauer checks in for the first time for Mountain View. They have played every player in this game off that bench. Every player has seen action, and we still have two and a half to go in the opening quarter. Here is Swedzig, and she's fouled on the floor. Left of the free throw line. Mustangs to inbound it. Foul was committed by Bauer. Third team foul. Swedzik lobs it in over to Marquez. Marquez, free throw line. Ball is tipped into the hands of Ramirez. Hands it off to Phillips. Right wing to Marquez. Bounce pass right baseline to Taylor. Back to Marquez. Banks misses, but a foul. Oh, that's a nice pass there from Ava Taylor to Charlotte Marquez to shoot two. Foul was committed by, looks like Bauer again. It's her second. The Marquez free throw is up and good. Second free throw upcoming. The Mustangs are down by 10. Not a bad start, really. When you consider how good this Mountain View team is. That one's up and that's short. Ball is loose, still loose. And it's ripped away by Evelyn Swank. Mountain View the other way with a basketball. Into the lane, all the way, scoops it up and blocks. So Lisa's shot is blocked. And taken away by Barquez. And here with the basketball, Shaylin Ramirez. Ramirez looks like she's fouled. There's a strip near midcourt. And then Marquez comes away with it. Then the ball's out of bounds off Mountain View. That was a slop mess. Middle of the court. Mustangs to throw it in with a minute 50 to go in the opening quarter. Mountain View leads 15 to 5. Marquez lobs it front court for Taylor. Holding the ball up high. Taylor back out to Ramirez. Right corner Marquez. Her three is blocked by Solis. Madison Kyle to Bransom. Bransom with one to beat all the way. Lays it up and in. And that's a foul on Ramirez. That's a good call. Ramirez really should have backed off there. The Mustangs with their ninth turnover of the opening quarter unofficially. Madison Bransom has got four points looking for five. And there it is. Mountain View 18, Fort Morgan 5. Jimenez back into the game. Let's see a better showing now than she had 
before she was taken out. Just lost her bearings a couple of times. Here's Marquez. Left-handed dribble at the top. Bounce pass to Phillips inside to Jimenez. Dribbles, lost control, got it back. Bounce pass along the left baseline to Taylor. Now to Jimenez. Cross-court pass to Marquez. Penetrates right baseline, cut off. Swings it near the top to Jimenez. On the right wing, chest pass to Swedzik. Down low for Taylor. Turns, shoots, throws up an air ball. And there's a foul by Swedzik. As Georgia Pennington grabbed the basketball. It's the team's third foul. Man, Mountain View is substituting at a rampant pace. They have brought in everybody. Here's Nicole Olson on the outside right to Madison Kyle. Cross court to Bransom. Wide open three is short. And the ball is tipped around into the hands of Kyle. Here is Bransom in the lane. Right corner three. Pennington is short. Ava Taylor grabs the rebound for the Mustangs. Her third. Here is Jimenez with 41 seconds to go. Jimenez, hop step, back out Marquez, corner three. She banked it in. There's no way she called that. No way. She didn't have an angle for a three, for at least off the glass. Here is Madison Kyle all the way, fouled by Taylor on the drive. Taylor commits her second. Madison Kyle to the line. The Mustangs are only down 10 here in the opening quarter. Considering what's happened this season, free throw is good. 19 to eight. Second free throw is coming up for Madison Kyle. Benz shoots, misses, in and out. Rebound to Bella Phillips. Here is Swedzig with 15 seconds to go. Left baseline, back out to Taylor, holding the ball up high. Feeds Marquez at the top with 10. Hands it off to Jimenez on the right wing with 7. Jimenez right baseline, forces up a shot, throws up an air ball. It's tipped away into the hands of Olsen with 2, with 1. That's the end. of the opening quarter with a score from Mountain View High School in Loveland. In the second half of the doubleheader, Mountain View 19, Fort Morgan 8 on the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Let's start the second quarter. Mountain View girls lead Fort Morgan 19 to 8. The foul near the end of the first quarter is committed by Charlotte Marquez, so no Mustang has two fouls. Four Mustangs have one foul apiece. Bree Matchett throws it in to Caroline Solis out there with Alex Ellis. Megan Kyle and Addison Bransom wide open does not take that three. On the right wing, Kyle takes the three and that's off the front side of the rim. And the rebound to Kiara Jimenez of Fort Morgan with Ava Taylor, Charlotte Marquez, Bella Phillips and Lawrence Wedzig. Marquez right baseline puts up a runner and scores and a foul. I mean, Charlotte doesn't have a lot of explosion to the basket but knows how to use her body to shield the ball away from the defender. And she gets to the line in the foul on Solis. How about this performance by Marquez? She's got six points. And make it seven. 19 to 11 Mountain View. Fort Morgan playing well here on the outside right. Bransom back out to Madison Kyle. Make it Megan. Now to Bransom, the three, good. All types of range for Addison Bransom. Eight points in the game. The lead is 11. Backcourt pass to Swedzik. And then Marquez was fouled in the backcourt. That'll be the second team foul on Mountain View. That's on Solis again. Swedzik to trigger it in. Over to Marquez. Marquez at midcourt. Baseball pass towards Phillips. Poked away. Marquez on the floor. And then what... We had a timeout. Well, I guess she had it momentarily. Timeout called by Coach Anderson. 22 to 11. 
in favor of Mountain View early in the second quarter. Covering all electric work from residential to commercial to agricultural is better electric. Better does matter, 970-521-1030. That is better electric. The Mustang boys lost tonight. Second closest loss of the season, second or third, I believe. 64-57. Lady Mustangs playing well in this game, down by 11, 22 to 11, but they lost by 46 back in mid-December in Fort Morgan. Swedzig will throw it in. In the backcourt to Charlotte Marquez. Marquez crossing over on the defender. Bounce pass at the top for Phillips. Feeds it to Jimenez. Her runner is blocked. You've got to have a head fake in there. Branson comes away with a basketball. Branson with a two on two. Pulls up from five and scores off the back of the rim. Branson now has ten points and five rebounds. Backcourt pass to Jimenez, lost control on the floor. It's picked up. Bransom all the way, banks and scores again. Turnover by the Mustangs, they're 10th. It's 26 to 11. And there, Phillips nearly had the ball stolen, taken now by Jimenez. Jimenez on the right wing all the way, lays it up too strong. Rebound by Megan Kyle, long pass to Solis. She is by herself and she'll lay it up and in off the glass for Caroline Solis. Now Mountain View is putting on a clinic. Up 28 to 11, 6.13 to go in the second. Jimenez to Taylor. Still in the backcourt to Swedzik. Swedzik with a left-handed dribble in the corner for Marquez. Lobs it inside to Taylor. She banks and she misses. Rebound to Megan Kyle. Kyle, long pass to Bransom with two dribbles. Lays it up and in. Mustangs need a timeout. Bransom has nine in the quarter and 14 in the game. And all of a sudden, this is an 11-0 run for Mountain View. Swedzig the other way to Marquez. Double team. Marquez bounce pass. High right to Swedzig. Down low for Taylor. Dribbles. Backs in on the defender. Taylor kicks it back out to Swedzig. And then has the ball stripped out of bounds by Alex Ellis. Here come Aleman, Richards, and Shaylin Ramirez. For the Mustangs, Aleman to throw it in. Bounce pass inside is poked away. Intended for Phillips, knocked away by Kyle. Still a five and a half to go in the opening half and Mountain View leads by 19. There's the lob on the outside right to Ramirez. Left-handed dribble at the free throw line. Underhand toss to Aleman. Aleman in the lane, forces up a shot, misses. But Bella Phillips banks it in. Bella Phillips was alert. That stops the 11-0 run. Outside right to Kyle. Parking lot three, and she missed it. Ava Taylor grabs the rebound for Fort Morgan. That's her fourth. There's the outlet to Ramirez in the left wing to Aleman. Lost the basketball. Got it back. Taylor takes the three and back rimmed it. No. Ball is tipped around into the hands of Madison Kyle. 30-13 to Mountain View for 49 to go second quarter. Left-handed dribble for Matchett. Left corner. Ellis three. Back rimmed. Ball is rebounded by Aleman of Fort Morgan. Kiera with a basketball. Crossing midcourt on her own. Picked up by Nicole Olsen. Picks up the dribble. That's a mistake. Bounce pass to Phillips. Phillips at the free throw line to Alamon all the way. Banks and misses. Oh, that's a good look. Rebound to Nicole Olsen. Nearly went down. Olsen setting up the offense for Mountain View. On the outside left for Ellis. Near the left corner. Match it. Dribbles to her right. Picks up the dribble. Back out to Ellis. In the right wing. Kyle. Long three. Good. Megan Kyle with her third trifecta of the game. She's got 10 points. The lead is 20. Mountain View 33, Fort Morgan 13. Four minutes to go before halftime. Shaylin Ramirez working off a screen, dribbling to her right. Picks up the dribble. Looking, still looking, still looking. Bounce pass is tipped away, and that's a double dribble by Madison Kyle. With 3.51 to go, Mustang basketball. Ramirez to throw it in. Lauren Zwedzig will check back into the game along with Charlotte Marquez. Zwedzig and Marquez have combined for 10 of the 13 points. 
Marquez has seven of them. Ramirez to throw it in near midcourt to Marquez. Marquez, right-handed dribble near the top, back to her right, right of the lane. Bounce pass at the top for Ramirez, 16-footer, back rim, no. The rebound is controlled by Georgia Pennington. On the outlet to Olsen, three and a half to go second quarter. Outside left, Megan Kyle, three, and she missed it back rim. Ball is tipped out of bounds by Pennington, and it will be Fort Morgan basketball. Evelyn Swank is back into the game for Mountain View. Well, Brad Anderson hasn't really called timeouts, but his team has been... Well, there you go, just as I said it. There's the timeout with 3.28 to go in the second. Mountain View leads 33-13. to They are looking for their 10th win of the season. And with Mountain View leading by 20 points, the truth of the matter is that they're pretty off from three-point range. They missed a lot of threes. They have nailed five in the game, but it seems they've missed uh, at least into double digits. But the one thing, Mountain View gets very good looks. Excellent looks because they work the ball around as evidenced by their record. Nonetheless, Fort Morgan did play a, a pretty good first quarter, scoring those eight points. They got to within eight. 19 to 11 on a three-pointer by Charlotte Marquez. But since then, Mountain View is on a 14 to two run to grab a 20-point lead. Bransom, Olsen, Pennington, Swank, and Alex Ellis for Mountain View. The Mustangs will be countering with Ava Taylor. Maybe not. Nope, instead it'll be Shaylin Ramirez, Charlotte Marquez, Melina Richards, Kiara Aleman, and the inbounds passer, Lawrence Wedzik. With under three and a half to go. On the outside right is Marquez, guarded by Branson. Bounce pass, Ramirez right off her hands out of bounds. Only the third turnover in this quarter for the Mustangs after nine in the opening quarter. Here's Addison Branson, a huge second quarter. With nine points, she scored more points in this quarter than Fort Morgan has as a team. Olsen straight away on the outside left of Swang. Now here's Bransom against Ramirez near the top to Pennington in the right corner with the basketball is Olsen. They swing it around. On the outside right, the Ellis three is good. That's a line drive three for Alex Ellis. Alex Ellis with a six three pointer. And the opening half for Mountain View. And then the pass inside is intercepted by Bransom. Bransom with a basketball, right-handed dribble on the high right. Here is Olsen. That three is an air ball, but it's taken away by Pennington. Then Bransom puts it up and in inside the free throw line for Bransom. Mountain views on an 18-2 run. 38-13, 2.22 to go before halftime. Here's Aleman into the lane. Had the ball stripped, got it back, kicks it back out. And then Ramirez went up and down with the basketball, and the ball never left her hand. That is a traveling violation. Ransom is now out of the game, and back in is Tegan Bauer. And it's now actually a 19-2 run for Mountain View with 2.10 to go before halftime. Outside left for Bauer at the top now. With the basketball is Nicole Olsen. And the ball is tipped out of bounds in the right corner. Intended over there for Bree Matchett. And where are they going to inbounds that basketball? Just oh, waiting for shoes to be tied out there by a Mustang. Matchett to throw it in in the corner. There's the lob at the top for Olsen. On the right wing to Pennington with a left-handed dribble. Cross-court pass by Bauer, and then she threw it behind a teammate and match it intercepted by Charlotte Marquez. Only the four turnover. Aleman the other way, banks and misses. Rebound to Evelyn Swank of Mountain View. There's the outlet to Olsen, a minute 40 to go. In the opening half, 38-13 to 13 Mountain View. Left wing, here is Pennington. Cross-court pass to Olsen, three in the air, off to the left. Again, they missed a lot of threes, and the ball is off Marquez out of bounds. And back into the game is Megan Kyle. 
Richards is out. Bella Phillips back in for the Mustangs. Match it to throw it in. Down low for Swank. Kicks it back out straight away. Now here's Olsen. Near the left corner, match it. Three is up, and they miss another one. Rebound to Marquez, but her outlet is intercepted. Yep, she was waiting for a teammate to run along. Here's Kyle down low for Swank. Right baseline, now back out over to Kyle straight away. Kyle kicks it inside right through Bauer, and she saved it in, though, to Swank. And the ball is off Swank out of bounds. Sometimes you're moving the ball around too quickly. 63 seconds to go in the opening half. Mountain View 38, Fort Morgan 13. The Mustangs have gone cold in the quarter, only five points. Bounce pass, Aleman behind, or too far ahead, actually, of Lawrence Wedzig out of bounds. Yet you have seven turnovers in the quarter and only five points. And you're down by 25. 38 to 13. Here's Megan Kyle, left of the lane, in the lane, pulls up and misses. Ball is loose and a foul from behind on Fort Morgan. With 40.8 seconds to go, only the first team foul. Let's see, it might have been Alamon with that one. Yeah, it is. Lob on the outside right, Megan Kyle, wide open three, way short. And the ball is out of bounds off Matchett. I'm telling you, Mountain View's three-point shooting has not been really spot on in this half. They have missed a lot of looks, but they do lead by 25. Here's Charlotte Marquez at midcourt, 30 seconds to go. Marquez, bounce pass to Phillips, and there's a foul for behind on Megan Kyle. Only the third team foul. And for Kyle, that's her first Three quarters court. It'll be tossed in by Shaylin Ramirez. Over to Marquez. Left handed dribble working off a screen from Phillips. Feeds Phillips on the high right to Ramirez. 18 seconds to go. Penetrating right baseline now towards the corner. Jump pass is intercepted. Intercepted by Nicole Olsen. Olsen with a right handed dribble. Nine seconds to go. Now to Kyle straight away. Three is up and that's way short again. Rebound Olsen follow. Banks and misses but a foul. Two free throws. Olsen was fouled on the follow through. Olsen to the line. Aleman with her second foul. First free throw for Olsen is up and in. It is now a 20 to 2 run for Mountain View. Free throw number two. Yes. And that'll be the end of the opening half. And Mountain View in control. They close the first half on a 21-2 run. After 16 minutes of basketball, it is Mountain View 40, Fort Morgan 13 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. We'll head to the third quarter. The Mustangs trail Mountain View 40 to 13. Now, what I find interesting is that we're supposed to start in about 30 some odd seconds and Fort Morgan is now, now exiting the locker room. Mountain View has been out there for at least three minutes taking jumpers, but Fort Morgan took all their time in the locker room and certainly no time for any warm-ups. Mountain View, in fact, has their five out there already. And they are Caroline Solis, Addison Bransom, Megan Kyle, Madison Kyle, and Bree Matchett. The Mustangs now with Shaylin Ramirez. Ava Taylor, Kiara Jimenez, Kiara Aleman, and Bella Phillips, Mustang basketball. 16 more minutes, and this will go a little bit quicker if Mountain View is out to a 35-point lead or more by the time we head to the fourth quarter. 
Ramirez on the outside left to Alamon. Overhead pass inside to Taylor by herself. Then she's picked up, and then she throws up an air ball from two feet away. Wow. Solis has it for Mountain View. That was literally two feet away, and she threw it over the basket. On the outside left to Kyle. Cross-court pass. That's Madison Kyle. Now to Megan. She'll take the three, and she misses back rim. Ramirez with a rebound for the Mustangs. Ramirez picking up the dribble, looking. Bounce pass is tipped away by Megan Kyle, and she's got it in the front court. Turnover number 18 for Fort Morgan. Over to Caroline Solis. On the right side, Bransom wide open three, and she missed that off to the left. Kiara Jimenez with a rebound. I'm telling you, I am not impressed with Mountain View's three-point shooting tonight. They've got looks, but they're missing a ton. And I've said that many times, but it continues in this third quarter. Bounce pass at the top. Ramirez penetrates, puts it up off the glass. Too strong. Taylor put back is partially blocked. And it's taken away by Addison Bransom. Bransom in the paint. Right corner, Solis backs up, takes the three, and she misses that one. Ava Taylor with a rebound. 0 for 3 to begin the third quarter from 3 for Mountain View. Neither team has scored in the quarter. Alamon picks up the dribble, looking, still looking. Lobs it over to Ramirez. Ramirez at the free throw line. Bounce pass to Taylor. Ball is tipped away. It is loose bodies on the floor. And it's taken over there by Ramirez on the outside right. Here is Alamon inside to Phillips. Phillips puts it up and she misses. Got nothing but glass. Ball is loose. It's out of bounds off Mountain View. And Alamon to throw it in. Kiera looking down low. There's the cutter. Ramirez has the shot blocked, but a foul by Matchett. Nice cut to the basket by Shaylin Ramirez. Matchett with her second foul. Ramirez has yet to score in the game. And now does. First free throw is in. Charlotte Marquez is in for Bella Phillips. Mountain View 40, Fort Morgan 14. 6.09 to go, third quarter. Ramirez again. Air ball. Mountain View basketball. Here is Bree Matchett. Chest pass, front court for Megan Kyle. Back out to Solis on the right wing. At the top for Bransom. Lob inside to Madison, back out to Solis. Here's Bransom inside to Madison. Kyle, right baseline. Cross court pass to Matchett. Inside to Bransom, dribbles, hooks and scores. Off the glass for Addison Bransom. She's got 18. 28 point lead, the biggest for Mountain View. 42 to 14. Ball is knocked out of bounds by Megan Kyle. Possessed by Charlotte Marquez, three quarters court. Marquez looking, backcourt pass is taken by Ramirez. Ramirez crosses over on the defender, match it, lost control, picks up the basketball, and then it's poked from behind in the backcourt so Ramirez can retain dribbling and does. Ramirez picks up the dribble again, looking, still looking. Swings it right side to Marquez against Megan Kyle. Jump pass inside to Alamont. Puts it up, misses. Taylor had the ball knocked out of her hands. It's put up and in by Jimenez. Nice job by Kiara Jimenez. The other way, Bransom scores on a layup. She just went coast to coast to the Mustangs. 44 to 16, under five minutes to go in the third. Mountain View with a 28 point lead. Here's Jimenez, bounce pass right side to Ramirez. Ramirez crossing over on the defender. Bounce pass on the high right to Jimenez. Jimenez looking, still looking, dribbling towards the corner. Crossing over on Bransom. Back out on the bounce to Ramirez. Right corner to Marquez. Bounce pass inside to Alamon. Bank scores and a foul on Solis. What a play by the Mustangs and Kiera to the line. Solis commits her third and the Mustangs to within 26. Jimenez is out. Bella Phillips is back in. Fort Morgan showing some progress in this game. Free throw off to the right. 
Rebound is grabbed by Madison Kyle. Right wing, Megan Kyle, three, back rimmed it. They're just missing everything. Rebound is controlled by Marquez. This is on their home floor. Marquez left to the lane. Marquez leans, and then she's fouled as she misses. She'll shoot two. Four Morgans out playing Mountain View in this quarter. Marquez to the stripe. Foul was committed by Bransom. That's her second free throw. Marquez, yes. Eight points of the game for Charlotte Marquez. It's 44-19. Second free throw coming up for the Mustang freshman. Well short rebound to Bree Matchett. Here is Alex Ellis over to Megan Kyle. Cross-court pass to Ellis. Back out straight away. Three match it. That's good. They finally nail one. Match it now with six. 47-19. Back up to a 28-point lead. Four minutes to go in the third. Marquez on the outside left. Dribbling left baseline. Now throws up a runner, but she traveled. Traveled prior to that, and Mountain View comes the other way with Alex Ellis on the outside right to Megan Kyle. Kyle looking down low. Inside to Bransom, she banks and misses an easy one. Oh, I don't know how she missed that when she was by herself. Swedzik grabs the rebound. Great pass by Kyle, and there's the double dribble by Lauren Swedzik. 20 turnovers unofficially of the Mustangs, but again, they're only down 28. And they lost by 46 the first time out. On the high right, Kyle lobs it inside to Ellis. Back out to Matchett. Left corner, three is up. And that's in and out by Kyle. The rebound to Matchett. Here is Madison Kyle into the lane. All the way, puts it up and in off the glass. Nice job by Madison Kyle. The biggest lead now, it's 30, 49 to 19. 316 to go in the third. Marquez on the outside left for the Mustangs. Picks up the dribble. Swigs it near the top to Ramirez. Ramirez to her right at the free throw line. Out of Marquez, long three. Air ball out of bounds. Basketball belongs to Mountain View. Evelyn Swank is back in along with Nicole Olson. Not up by 35 yet for the running clock. Of course, it only applies in the fourth quarter. Bransom straight away for Olson. Olsen left-handed dribble into the paint. Jump pass left corner for Ellis. Takes the three, and that one's no good. But the rebound is controlled by Olsen. Olsen to Kyle. Three is up, and that hits nothing but glass. That was an ugly miss, but Bransom chases it down near midcourt. Bransom to her right between her legs. Hands it off to Megan Kyle all the way. Her runner's up and short. Rebound to Bransom. She puts it up, and she misses, but a foul. She will shoot two. Might have been Ava Taylor committing that one. Bransom has outscored the Mustangs. She has got 20 points. Mega 21, 50 to 19. Ava Taylor did commit her second. Second free throw for Bransom is in the air and that one is right there. The lead is 32, two and a half to go in the third. And here is Shaylin Ramirez for the Mustangs. In front of the bench to Swedzik, lob free throw line to Taylor. Taylor had the ball ripped away by Bransom. 21 turnovers for the Mustangs. Bransom met by Swedzik at the top. Lobs it, left corner for Ellis. Penetrates, pulls up from 10 and throws up an air ball, an ugly miss. Bella Phillips comes away with a board for the Mustangs. Under two minutes to go in the third. Mountain View 51, Fort Morgan 19. Charlotte Marquez. Baseball pass near the top to Ramirez. Now to Marquez. Left wing for Swedzik. Entry pass is poked away and it's intercepted. Olsen to Bransom. It's a two on one. Bounce pass inside. Layup is up and missed by Olsen. She grabs it right back. They're going to have to reset in the corner to Kyle. Kyle lobs it cross court to Bransom. Fakes the three, steps to her left, takes the three, makes the three. 
Addison Bransom has nine points in the quarter and 25 in the game. The lead is 35, 54 to 19. Marquez over to Ramirez, right of the lane. Ramirez in the right corner for Taylor. Taylor against Swank. Overhead pass is taken by Zwedzig all the way. Misses but a foul as she drove to the basket. She could get this under 35. The running clock only applies in the fourth quarter. Lauren Zwedzig to shoot two. Foul was committed by Alex Ellis. Free throw by Zwedzig is off the back of the rim. The Mustangs in the quarter have really struggled for the line. Two out of six. Free throw number two is coming up, and that one is up. That one is short, and the ball is volleyball around. It's taken by Fort Morgan. That's Yelena Ramirez. Bounce pass to Jimenez. Nice job by Yelena. First time in the game. Long three. Missed by Marquez. Rebounded by Kyle. Megan Kyle gets out of traffic with a basketball. Now to Bransom. 55 seconds to go. Bransom all the way. Bumped. Puts it up and in anyway. No whistle. Bransom now has 11 points in the quarter. 27 in the game. And all of a sudden, Mountain View leads 56-19. to Entry pass is intercepted by Evelyn Swank. That's 23 turnovers. We've got 35 seconds to go in the third. Megan Kyle inside to Ellis. Turns, banks, and misses. Put it up a little bit too short. Rebound to Charlotte Marquez of Fort Morgan. Marquez wants to run. Marquez into the paint. Marquez is fouled on the floor. That'll be the 15th foul. Two free throws for Charlotte Marquez. Did not take a shot, didn't need to. Well, the Mustangs have been to the line quite a bit in the quarter, but unable to convert. Just two out of seven. Free throw is right there for Charlotte Marquez. Down by 36. We will go to a running clock in the fourth quarter. That one's up and that one's short. Ball is tipped out of bounds by Ramirez of Fort Morgan. Mountain View basketball. And here's Alex Ellis with a brace on that right knee. Ellis on the left side to Bransom. Straight away to Ellis on the right wing. Here's Nicole Olson. Back out to Kyle. Cross court pass to Bransom. Down low to Swank. Kicks it straight away to Kyle. Three in the air. Is off to the right. Rebound to Ellis. Banks and scores. Alex Ellis was not blocked out. Put it up and in. And that is the end of the quarter on that 50-foot toss by Marquez. That is well short. The running clocks, uh, clock awaits in the fourth quarter. Mountain View 58, Fort Morgan 20 on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Caroline Solis to throw it in for Mountain View. They lead Fort Morgan 58 to 20. Entering the fourth quarter, Mariah Hartman makes her first appearance. Running clock and that entry pass is intercepted by Yelena Ramirez. Only the sixth turnover for Mountain View. Marquez over to Alamon. Down low to Ramirez. She banks it in. Yelena Ramirez with a spin move in the lane. And it's 58 to 22. Solis the other way for Mountain View. All the way. Lays it up. Left it short. Yelena Ramirez grabs the rebound for the Mustangs. The outlet to Marquez. Marquez left-handed dribble. Left to the lane. All the way. Puts it up. Left it short and a foul on Bree Matchett. Matchett with her third. The clock will stop momentarily it's the weird thing with a running clock that you stop it for free throws Marquez to shoot a deuce and the first free throw is up and short Marquez has been to the line quite a bit tonight second free throw is up and that one is in She is five out of nine from the line. 58-23, Hartman on the right side, straight away for Solis. Swings it near the left corner, match it, three in the air. Back rim, no. Ball is tipped around, it's volleyballed into the hands of Georgia Pennington. Pennington to Solis in the corner. Solis cross-court pass is intercepted by Charlotte Marquez. Long pass, that's intercepted by Tegan Bauer of Mountain View. 
Here is Pennington straight away to Bauer on the outside right to Hartman. Wide open three. She'll take it and she'll miss it off the back of the rim. The rebound to Lauren Swedzik. Swedzik is ahead of the field now catching up as Bauer puts it up and missed it off to the right. And the ball is out of bounds off of Mountain View. And the Mustangs retain possession. 6.25 in the clock running down 58-23. The Fort Morgan boys lost tonight in a good game. 64-57. Broden Jess led Fort Morgan with 14 points. And the entry pass went behind. Alamon out of bounds. Turnover for the Mustangs. And Bauer to throw it in. Next Mustang action tomorrow night. I'll be with you at 6 o'clock from Fort Morgan. The girls game will be first against Severance. The boys game to follow. Be back with you on Saturday, 12.30 and 2 o'clock at Northridge. Back with you on Monday at Riverdale Ridge, 6 and 7.30. Back with you on Tuesday in Johnstown at Roosevelt, 5.30 and 7. The three, Solis is up and in. On the right wing, Caroline Solis now has seven points in the game. Mountain View 61, Fort Morgan 23. 5.33 to go from Loveland. Bounce pass in the lane to Ramirez. Back out straight away to Swedzig. Swedzig swings it right side to Marquez. Marquez dribbles towards the corner. Penetrates right baseline. Reverse layup is up and left it short. Rebound to Bree Matchett of Mountain View. That's her seventh. Long pass to Pennington. Pennington on the high left. Back out to Solis. Now to Pennington. Left baseline. Dribbles to her right. Kicks it back out to Solis. Cross court pass to Hartman. Right corner now here is Tegan Bauer guarded by Jimenez. Solis, left corner match it, backs up, can't take the three, penetrates cross court pass Solis, right corner three, bingo. Caroline Solis, two triples in the quarter. 10 points in the game, it's a 64-23 lead. A 41 point advantage with 4.39 to go. Bounce pass to Ramirez at it's stripped away. Ball is loose on the floor, bodies go flying. And there's going to be a tie-up. No. No tie-up. They let the whistle go. Bauer takes it away from Mountain View. Bauer all the way. Slips. And the ball's out of bounds. That's a turnover on Mountain View. Oh, they're going to say when it didn't go off Fort Morgan. Yeah. The, the, the back official corrected that. That's not off of... No, 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 no. That went off of Mountain View. That was not touched by Fort Morgan. The trail official saw it better. Now we go. There you go. Fort Morgan basketball. Yeah, that's the way it should have been there. Swedzig to throw it in. Meanwhile, 30 seconds have run off the clock. We're down to 3.55 to go in the game. Mountain View 64, Fort Morgan 23. Marquez, chest pass, horrendous pass intercepted by Solis. Solis dribbles by Marquez over to Hartman, right off her chest out of bounds. Well, Fort Morgan does have three points in the quarter. They were down big at halftime following a 21-2 run. Three by Marquez is good. Charlotte Marquez made up for that turnover. She's got 13. It's an excellent shot by Charlotte Marquez. 64-26, left corner, Ellis, three. Back rim, no. Ball is rebounded by Marquez. Marquez into the front court, all the way, lays it up, and in! Charlotte Marquez, coast to coast. Six points in the quarter, 15 in the game, 64-28, 36-point lead. Down from 41, Solis, left wing, three, and she misses off to the left. And the ball is loose in the floor, there's going to be a tie-up. Swedzik is on the floor. Possession error to Fort Morgan. Even if the Mustangs get it under 35, still will be a running clock. But Marquez has played one heck of a fourth quarter in this game. Six of her 15 points. Two and a half and the clock is running. Charlotte Marquez with a left-handed dribble. Bounce pass, left baseline for Aleman. Aleman puts hooks it up and in. I don't know how she made that shot. She just threw it up there and it went in. How about that? 64 to 30. 209 to go in the game. Pennington nearly stripped from behind. Gets it to Bauer. Here's Olsen down low for Swank. Has the shot blocked by Ramirez. Ramirez and wrestles it away. Long baseball pass to Aleman. Man, the Mustangs are playing really well in this quarter. Too bad they 
had to spot Mountain View so many points and then a foul. That's a terrible foul on Swank. From behind, she should have let he manage just go to the basket. Had no position. Two free throws with a minute 42 to go. For Jimenez. First free throws, a line drive, and it's up and in. Hit the back of the rim, took a huge bounce, and it went through. Mustangs down by 33, but it was a 41-point lead moments ago. Second free throw, back rim. Ball is tipped around, taken away by Nicole Olsen of Mountain View. Olsen spins, turns, shoots, side of the backboard, missed it. Alamon has the basketball for the Mustangs, looking for the outlet. Pass in the backcourt to Jimenez, 20, uh, a minute 27 to go. Here's Wedzik left baseline. Near the top to Marquez, but it's ripped away by Hartman. Hartman with one to beat is gonna lay it up and in and a foul by Marquez. Oh well, live and learn there. A minute seven to go. They should have counted that. There they do. 66-31. Spinning three times. I don't see that often. That free throws off the back of the rim. Rebound to Alamon of Fort Morgan. We've got a minute two to go. Has the ball stripped from behind out of bounds. Stays with Mountain View. We'll get to the post game immediately. 48 seconds to go. Zwedzig to throw it in. Looking, still looking. Lobs it down low for Ramirez. Poked out of bounds by Swank. Now with 35 seconds to go, the clock is still running. Zwedzig looking for Ramirez. Can't get it to her. She's cut off. Now gets it to Ramirez though in the corner. Back out to Jimenez. Jimenez leans, throws up a shot, and it goes over the backboard out of bounds. And that should be the game right there. With 12 seconds to go, no need for Mountain View even to get off another shot. Just dribble the ball out. That's what Nicole Olsen passed to Bauer. They're going to do that, and that's the end of the game. With Mountain View defeating Fort Morgan... 66 to 31. Let's get to the Mustang post game show quickly. Brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Get a full plan of seed, food, and water for your field. Now is the time to begin your planning for next year's growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy 970 571 2024. The Mustangs were actually down in this game by a 19 to 11 score and then a 21 to two run by Mountain View really propelled them to a big lead and they were able to win by 35 points, 66 to 31. Let's check out the totals quickly for the visiting Mustangs, 15 points for Charlotte Marquez, four from Kiara Aleman, they got three from Lawrence Wedzig and Kiara Jimenez. Two points for Yelena Ramirez and Shaylin Ramirez with one. Mountain View, which won for the 10th time this year, gets 27 for Addison Bransom. 10 for Caroline Solis and Megan Kyle. They got six points from Bree Matchett. Five from Alex Ellis. Four points for Madison Kyle. Two apiece for Nicole Olson and Mariah Hartman. 27 turnovers for the Mustangs. Nine for Mountain View. The rebounding totals unofficially Mountain View with 27. A check that Fort Morgan with 27, six from Taylor. And let's see, Mountain View grabbed 32 rebounds in the game. And looks like Bransom had seven of those. Free throw line fairly insignificant. Mountain View was eight of 11 in the game. The Mustangs missed a bunch in the second half. I mean, they, let's see, they went five. Wow, they four, five, six. They missed eight free throws in the second half. Fort Morgan in the game was 8 of 18. All right, next up for the Mustangs tomorrow night. They'll be home to 7, 6 o'clock on B106 in the Eastern Plains Sports Network. 
I'm John Beltran. Have a great rest of your evening. God bless with your final scores tonight. The Fort Morgan boys lose to Mountain View 64-57. Mountain View girls win 66-31. to All right here on B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.